A symbiotic relationship is a relationship with two different types of species. For example, a bear and a wolf. These two species do not like each other. But for example, if the bear is in need and the wolf sees that the bear needs help, the wolf will come at the bear. The bear will not only get the benefit, but for example, if the wolf has no food and finds other animals such as uh, rabbits and squirrels, the wolf will of course want to eat them. So these two animals will get both benefits. The bear will get the benefit of hunting the animals and the wolf will get the benefit of sharing it with the bear. So these two animals or just different types of species get two, one, at least one different type of benefit. Boom. Here we have a tiger and the tiger has a problem. Now here's an example of a symbiotic relationship. Ah. I have something stuck in my <coughs> mouth. Someone needs to remove it. Cock, cock. Hmm? Seems like Tiger is having a struggle. What if I help him? But maybe he'll eat me. Oh well, at least that'll be the only time I help someone. Hey, Tiger. Arr, don't start on me like that ever again, alright? Seems like you're struggling in something. Oh well, something <coughs> is in my mouth and I need your help to remove it. If not, I'm gonna choke. Of course, let's see. Alright then, I removed it. It was uh, a bone and some bugs. Yuck! <coughs> Find you anyway, you go. No, anytime. Bye. Here's another example of a shark calling the underwater taxi service. Hello? Yes, is this underwater taxi service? I need your help uh, because first I'll pay you your food and second I need to get somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yep, you're right. Swordfish and sharks are best friends. Sharks need the swordfish. You know why? Different types of dead sea bugs are under the shark's belly. These swordfish will help the shark to remove it and also help it keep on going just like a taxi service what a nice swordfish maybe they're not harmful after all now we're going to look at something called partisms now partisms means that one only one of the animal is getting the benefit not the other meaning that the animals have broken their trust just look at the monkey here it's time to go snorkeling! Ooh, a fin! Eh, shark. Shark! What benefit did a monkey get? Nothing, right? The benefit he got was being swallowed by an evil shark. The shark got the benefit of tasty food, so that's what paratism means. Right, to end this video off, we're going to look at one last example of a symbiotic relationship. Water edition. Puka, 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 puka. Mm. Tasty, tasty meal. Um, um. Puka, puka. Um, um. What did you see here? Dolphins saving a jellyfish life. The benefit from the dolphin was that it was protecting, so it could have felt good and it got rewarded. The, benef the benefit for the jellyfish was that it was saved before getting eaten by a shark. <laughs> Thanks again, mate. No problem. Back to your name. Poppy Jellyfish Douglas. See ya, mate. Bye.